let's have a look at a few more ideas in right angle triangles and the Pythagoras theorem. These problems are not just very interesting, but they allow us to use some standard moves in basic geometry and are therefore worthwhile. So here is a right angle triangle with an in circle with the center at I and let's drop a perpendicular from the center to the two sides the non hypotenuse sides and therefore these three angles are 90 and that would make the fourth angle also 90 in this quadrilateral in fact we will quickly realize that L I K C is a square because in this rectangle the adjacent sides are equal which means that all the four sides are R and this would mean then that this X here is equal to E minus I'm sorry B minus R and Y is equal to E minus R where we have used the standard convention of calling this side as A and this side as B and this side as C. Now these two are definitely equal and both have been labeled as X and these two sides are definitely equal and both have been labeled as Y because they are tangent segments of this in circle and finally we say that C is equal to X plus Y which is equal to B minus R and this is equal to A minus R so B plus A minus 2R and this implies that R is equal to B plus A minus C divided by 2 so a very neat formula for R and uh, thanks to this very neat picture of tangent segments. Further, it is also to be noticed that this blue line that I have drawn is definitely the angle bisector of A. So this is equal to A by 2 and this is equal to A by 2. And if we join I to B, then that would be, this angle would be B by 2 and this angle would be B by 2 and what this means is that the angle A I B is equal to 180 minus A plus B by 2 and that is equal to 180 minus 45 that's equal to 135 so this is the end of this problem let's try to build on this formula that we have just derived into the next problem which is also very interesting so let's get to the next problem now which is another neat extension of the previous problem so here you can see that as always angle C is the right angle and uh, we have in our convention this is C and then this is A and this is B now here CD the line CD is a uh, altitude so CD is perpendicular to the hypotenuse AB and R1 is the in circle of triangle C A D and R2 is the in circle of triangle C B D and R is the in circle of the mother triangle A C B. Now given this there are some very neat and nice relationships between R1 R2 and R which we shall now derive so let's look at the previous formula let's call this as 
what shall we call this C B and let's call this as C A and of course C A plus C B equal to C now uh, our first formula says R1 is equal to CB plus H where H is the height of the altitude minus B divided by 2 and um, R2 is equal to CA plus H minus A divided by 2 and R itself is equal to A plus B minus C divided by 2. So let's try to combine all of these. Make some space here. And what do we get? We get that R1 plus R2 is equal to CA plus CB which is equal to C minus A plus B plus 2H divided by 2 and this is nothing but A plus B from here is 2R plus C minus of this plus C plus 2H divided by 2 and this gives us as you can see 2h minus 2r divided by 2 and this means that r 1 plus r 2 plus r is equal to h so this is a very neat relationship between r1 r2 and r but there is also another very easily derivable relationship between R1, R2 and R and let's do that as well. In this next relationship between them, all we need to notice is that something that we know very well that the three triangles that you see in this picture are all similar to each other and that would mean that R divided by the hypotenuse of the big triangle that is C is equal to R1 divided by the hypotenuse of the corresponding triangle on the left that is B and that is also equal to R2 into the hypotenuse of the corresponding triangle that is A let's say that all of this is some constant K further we do know that um, the Pythagoras theorem comes into play. We have <coughs> a square plus b square is equal to c square and that would mean that r2 square by k square plus r1 square by k square is equal to r square by k square and this implies that R square is equal to R1 square plus R2 square. We can still make another in interesting construction on this picture. So let's join the point C to the in center of the circle on the left and also to the circle on the right. I'll just do one of them because it's actually a symmetric uh, relationship. So let's join C to the center of this and we can carry out a similar argument to the circle on the left. 
let's call this point as E. Now, our main claim here is that triangle E C E is isosceles. In other words, A C equals to A E. And let's see, this should be an easy proof. We will try to prove that, okay, let's just note that this angle is the same as angle B. So let's call this as B. And then of course this angle is the same as this angle because it's an angle bisector. This is a C by 2 and this is C by 2. So what you quickly see is that this angle then the exterior angle is also equal to B plus C by 2 and therefore I think the claim is proved that ACE is isosceles and of course you will agree that we can make a symmetrical construction on the other side and claim equally well that this point here let's call it F is such that C B definitely will equal to F B and the argument will be absolutely symmetric and the same. So with that we come to the second episode of right angles and the Pythagoras theorem.